Good day, winners! Today, you'll get to learn 5 amazing proofs that validate the story of Noah, the Ark, and the Flood. Let's get started! Number 1. Shells and Fishes on Mountains did you know that fossils of shells, fishes, and other marine life were found on top of Mount Everest and in fact many mountains in the whole world? There is physical evidence of prehistoric ocean life embedded in the limestone at Everest's summit. Fossils of crinoids were found. Crinoids are marine animals that includes starfish, brittle stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. Mountain climbers who have been to the top of Mount Everest collected rocks in which the fossils of sea lilies were found. At the height of 29,000 feet, it is unimaginable that these life forms exist in unexpected place like the summit of Everest, the highest point on earth. It is also noteworthy to mention that the Himalayas are miles away from the ocean, so it is mind-boggling to think how these creatures reach the top of these mountains. Paleontologists reason out that 500 years ago, all of the earth was buried underneath the ocean. But the Bible explains this phenomenon differently. In Genesis chapter 7 verses 17 to 19, it says, For forty days the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the waters increased, they lifted the ark high above the earth. The waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. They rose greatly on the earth, and all the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. The marine life fossils found on top of the world's mountains is an excellent proof that a universal flood existed as the Bible told it. Number 2. Ark Dimension Skeptics also argue that the ark won't be enough to carry all the different species in the world. But is it really the case? Let's examine the true size of Noah's ark. In Genesis chapter 6 verses 14 to 16, so make yourself an ark of cypress wood, make rooms in it, and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. Make a roof for it, leaving below the roof an opening 1 cubit high all around. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower middle and upper decks. A cubit is believed to be about one and a half feet to two feet long or the length of a man's arm from elbow to fingertip. This would result in arc dimensions of 500 to 600 feet long by 90 to 100 feet wide by 50 to 60 feet high or roughly the size of the aircraft carrier USS Independence. The said vessel is so huge it carries 70 to 90 aircraft with over 6,000 personnel, not to mention ammunition and various supplies. Certainly, a vessel with that size could carry all the animal kinds and once again proving the validity of the biblical story of Noah. Number 3. Animal Kind Zoologists also argue that all animal in the world with at least 34,000 species is too much to handle even for a large sea vessel of that size. But the Bible tells us that Noah was only ordered to bring selected kind of creatures as what mentioned in Genesis chapter 7 verses 19 to 20. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you two of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal, and of every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you to be kept alive. Also keep in mind that Noah was ordered to only bring creatures that breathe air in their nostrils, including birds, 
reptiles, amphibians, and mammals and fishes obviously live in the water and insects could breathe through their skins so they are not included. God also ordered Noah to bring all kinds from the Hebrew word bara means not species. Science have long known that species within the same genus or kind could interbreed. So animals in different species like horses, zebras, and donkeys are actually the same kind. Another perfect example are coyotes, wolves, and domestic dogs which can generally interbreed. Thus, in Noah's time, he only brought a pair of dogs. It is the same with bats, feline, owls, vultures, frogs, snakes, so on and so forth. Although they have different species within their groups, during Noah's time, it is possible that they are in representative animal kinds. According to Ark Encounter Team, it is estimated the Ark housed about 1,400 animal kinds on the Ark. Overall, there are about 7,000 animals on board the Ark. The figure is manageable enough to fit a huge vessel and adds another reason to believe the biblical account of Noah. Number 4. Flood Stories The story of the flood is not only told in the Bible. Many civilizations around the world have their own version or story of the flood. There is this story of King Zeus Sudra in the Sumerian city of Nippur, circa 1600 BCE. In this story, Zeus Sudra built a boat and rescues life when the gods decide to destroy it. Another story is that of Utna Pishtim in the Epic of Gilgamesh, a clay tablet dating from the 7th century BCE. Here is the list of civilizations and countries with a version of the story of the flood. Egypt, North America, Mesoamerica, South America, China, Iran, India, Indonesia, Korea, Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand, Taiwan, Greece, Ireland, Norway, even in Polynesia. This only proves that a universal flood happened a long time ago and that event was retold by generations. Number 5. Ancient Underwater Civilization Robert Ballard, a world-renowned underwater archaeologist, with the aid of a robotic submersible equipped with remote-controlled cameras, discovered ancient civilization underneath the Black Sea region. The said civilization dates back to the time of Noah. Ballard and his crew is responsible in the discovery of the Titanic shipwreck and several others including Bismarck, Lusitania, and USS Yorktown. His discovery only proves that there are people living in the time of the flood, validating the authenticity of the biblical story of Noah. What do you like most in this video? Do you have other proofs that Noah, the ark, and the flood is true? Tell me in the comments. Want some more videos? Check out our amazing videos on the right. And of course, subscribe to catch all of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and God bless you always.